Hello and welcome back, it's the Clay Golem here. We're doing something slightly different, as you can probably see. What the heck are we looking at? Uh, I want to talk about Figma. Okay, so this is Figma, F-I-G-M-A dot com. Um, it's a business creative artistic tool, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Um, but it's really, really useful for DMs, um, or it is for me anyway. So you can use it for all sorts of different things. So what I've used it for here, and I know you can't read any of this um, at the moment. I'll go zoom in in a moment so you can see. Um, but what I've done here is I have plotted out the entire adventure arc for uh, Fandelva and Below, the Shattered Obelisk, for the first four chapters. Okay, so what, what have I got here? I've stuck with a bit of a theme. Um, so let's let's zoom in. Let's zoom in so you can see a bit of this. So I have uh, down here. Scroll down a little bit. So this is the beginning bit um, where you start in Neverwinter to escort Gundrum. Okay. So off the top here, all of these red tags along the top are all where you are given a quest. So red flag is to say it's a quest giver. So we're given supplies to Fandolin. Okay, that's what we have to do. Uh, any of these green ones are where we hand in a quest. So, for example, supplies to Fandlin, we get it from um, the Neverwinter, and we hand it in at this location over here, if I scroll down, at Barthen's Provisions, which is in Fandlin. Um, so, all the quests are tracked of where we get quests, where we hand quests in. And that I might change the way I've done that, but at the moment that works fine. Uh, I've got all of these grey boxes here which are purely information. So this is about what people find out where. So just running through that module, we start in Neverwinter, we pick up a quest. We then, this solid green arrow shows the core route through the module, although there are options. We have a dangerous journey. So that chapter there, we have the goblin ambush. Um, in theory, the main adventure, they then go to Cragmore Hideout, but they could go direct to Fandolin. They don't need to go to Cragmore Hideout. Um, chances are they'll get sent back to Cragmore Hideout if they do that, um, because they haven't rescued Sildar and somebody in Fandolin could pay them to do that. Um, but in the dangerous journey, we pick up um, sorry, as part of the Cragmore hideout, we pick up the quest of escort Sildar to Fandolin uh, and recover the stolen goods. Those are two things we can pick up. And we've got some information that can be gathered at Cragmore hideout, such as the fact that Lano Albrecht has gone missing, um, the fact that the dwarves have found Wave Echo Cave, the fact that Gundren was, has been sent to the Black Spider, whoever that is. Um, a fact that Gundren has been sent to Cragmore Castle and notes of a strange goblin. So all of that information and those quests can be picked up as part of Cragmore Hideout. Uh, then moving across, let's select my little hand icon so I can drag here. Uh, in theory, they then go to Fandlin. Now, as soon as they arrive in Fandlin, they get the uh, they've completed the quest to escort Sildar to Fandlin, um, and then we've got a series of locations here. So Barthen's provisions they should go to Barthen's provisions because that's where they've got to drop off the supplies, and from Barthen's provisions they can learn about the fact that the Fandelva mine has been discovered. Nundro and Tharden, in theory, are camped somewhere outside of town. The red brands are making life hard for people. Red brands frequent the Sleeping Giant Inn. Uh, we've then also got the Lion Shield Costa as a location where we get the mission about stolen goods. If, or rather, we retrieve the stolen goods. We can bring those back here. And we learn that the red brands are causing trouble and that they frequent the Sleeping Inn. Uh, sorry, the Sleeping Giant Inn. So, yep. Okay, duplicate information, but they might not have gone to Barthens or they might not have had that conversation. So all of these major locations are plotted out here. Uh, Edamath Orchard, the Miners Exchange, Alderley Farm, Town Masters Hall, all with the various bits of information that they may gather. We get given a quest for Old Owl Well that we can need to come back here to hand in. 
We're going to get the quest to catch a glass staff that we can hand back in. Um, we learn about Carp's secret tunnel that he found. Um, the fact that Quillen uh, knows the druid Ridioth or Redoth or whatever blinking name is. Um, and that Redoth is in Thunder Tree. Um, we can go to the Town Master's Hall where we can get quests. We can get quests uh, such as visiting Wyvern Tor, uh, defeating the Goblin Leader at Cragmore Castle that Sildar is going to give, uh, and rescuing Lano Albrecht, um, Albrecht from the Tresden, Tresenda Manor. It's Friday again, guys. Me and my ability to speak on a Friday. Uh, and also we can hand all of those quests back in here as well. Uh, the Shrine of Luck, where Sister Garrelly is able to prepare, uh, able to provide some information, but also um, gives us the information about the bargain with the Banshee um, for that information on Bow Gentle. Uh, and we've got the Sleeping Giant that they may visit. Um, but the next major plot thing, regardless of all those conversations, oh, that's a little bit too far. The next major plot thing is their encounter with the Red Brand Ruffians. So they might have done some of these, they might have gone straight to the Sleeping Giant, whatever it is, they're going to have an encounter with the Red Brand Ruffians where there is a chance for them to learn some information. They might not, they might just butcher them, may not question them at all, but they might do that. But some point after that Red Brand encounter, they will head off to Tresenda Manor and do the hideout. And again, I know you can't read it, more information on um, on what they can know and learn from the Red Brand hideout, plus uh, Myrna's heirloom quest, which is about going to Thunder Tree. Um, now, notice that we don't have to do Red Brand hideout immediately. We could go straight from the Shrine of Luck and head off to Conneberry, uh, do Agatha's Lair. We can go direct to Old Owl Well. Whichever ones of these we do, it is perfectly possible to do some of these side quests and never deal with the red brands. Uh, and actually, because of going to Agatha's Lair or Old Owl Well or going to the ruins of Thunder Tree, um, they can actually find their way to Cragmore Castle uh, and totally, totally not deal with the red brands. And I had one group that managed to do that, <laughs> which was took me slightly by surprise. Um, they just went, sod this, this is not our problem, and they left. <laughs> They just left town. Uh, and in that case, they did actually go to Agatha's Lair. That was their next port of call. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting that. But they can miss that out. But anyway, normally we would expect them to do that and then end up at Cragmore Castle and then from Cragmore Castle to Wave Echo Cave. Um, I know these ones are blank. So all this does, I know I've got the module. Do I need to do this? N no, I don't. But it does help visualise what information they pick up at what point. And if I was creating my own module, my own adventure, this helps me map out where they, where they pick up information, where they pick up leads, where they are likely to go next from those locations. I don't want to railroad them into going to a particular place, but I do want to encourage them through information and opportunities to choose certain paths um, so that they take the story in the direction I would like it to go um, rather than me railroading them at all. Um, so they've got lots of options here. They don't have to do what I want at all. They can do what they like and like I say, you know, the, even just completely missing out red brands. So all of these green ones here, these are, if you haven't worked it out, these are locations. So, you know, the actual shops and buildings and things like that. And all of these um, orange diamond shaped ones are actual encounters where they are dealing with monsters, you know, bad guys, negotiating, whatever. So those are all the encounters and it's all mapped out. So that's the first four chapters. So, yeah, don't need to do this. If I was planning my own, I would. But why have I decided to bother doing this then? Well, I'm going to extend this. This is just four chapters. We've got another four chapters to go on this end for the um, for the Shattered Obelisk part of the same adventure series. But if you look at adventures like Dragons of Ice Spire Peak, they start off in Phandalin. So there's a whole bunch of other... Let me drag this over just so that you can see. Um, 
Dragon's Vice by Peak really is kind of this big collection of small kind of side encounters and um, quests and things like that. Um, Axalm, you know, the ranch. These are all other locations around the area. And it begins with them starting off in, um, in Fandolin. So I thought what would be useful is to then map these locations also onto here and decide at what point the various quests are going to appear. So one thing I want to do, if I zoom in a bit, whee, zoom in a bit so you can kind of see what's going on, is Fandolin here. While they come here, I'm also going to have another copy of Fandolin. Just give me a moment, I'll get there in a second. Because I'm doing it zoomed in enough for you guys to be able to see. Um, I'm going to put another copy of Fandolin up the other end here. Uh, somewhere like that. And I can just draw this arrow straight in there. Uh, because for this version of Fandolin, after they've done all that, there's going to be another opportunity for new quests, new information, etc. That obviously is going to provide the next step. After Wave Echo Cave, they're going to come back to Fandolin. I want to provide them the next step towards the Shattered Obelisk. But for all of these encounters, I'm going to decide, bearing in mind these are all for low-level kind of encounters. Let's just pick Axon. Uh, this one is balanced for characters of fifth level. So do I want to have that as an available quest all the way back here when they're like second level? No, I don't. So that quest might become available here at this point when they have finished Wave, wave Echo Cave. Oh, that's a bit of a mouthful. Um, let's, pick, let's pick another one. Um, the, let's pick the ranch third level but second level characters might oh i could put that at the beginning circle of thunder i think this one's a bit higher yes yeah, sixth level so by looking at these different levels of these challenges here we go challenge for first level ones dwarven excavation that makes perfect sense for me to tag that in as another quest available here at this time when they're in Fandolin. Now, where do they pick that up from, does it say? Just having a quick look. Um, da, 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 da. So, um, behind the settlement, they've spent years clearing rubble. Uh, sorry, just, just quickly reading that, that part of the adventure. It talks about them, it talks about... Um, yeah, so that's straight to the Dwarven Excavation site, and it doesn't really talk about where they pick that up from, not not in that bit. Um, but it might be that actually that's part of, they go to the Miners Exchange and they hear about that. It's another quest I can add up here. Uh, it might be that they've posted on the job board in the Town Master's Hall that they want help. So it's just going to help enable me to flesh out, and rather than it, the players going, oh, we're following a linear adventure, finish that bit, now we're following a linear adventure. It gives them a lot more flexibility in what they would like to do. And actually, they could potentially end up being on three different adventures at the same time, not realising it. Um, but they're just solving different problems. Now, we don't want them to spend too long doing side quests and not focusing on actually finishing the adventure because they don't get to meet the big bads and stuff. But they can always come back and mop up. The only problem with doing this that I can see that we need to be careful with is experience and leveling. We don't want them to basically do two adventures side by side and get double the rewards. They level double as fast um, because they do all those side quests and by the time they get to here, Wave Echo Cave, that's sort of like sixth, seventh level or something. So we need to be a bit careful about how we balance things. Um, and there is no reason at all, if it's getting slightly unbalanced, just don't give them a couple of the side quests. They've got hooked on doing side quests. Oh, another bun bunch of adventurers are around and actually they've already completed that one, mate. That's, you know, you snooze, you lose. Somebody else has already beaten you to it. So you can do things like that. Of course you can. Absolutely. Um, and if you're using milestone advancement, um, that be kind of becomes even easier because you can adjust where you're putting those milestone advancements in and you can even flag on here where 
along the timeline you know but but here bam as soon as they finish red brand hideout they gain a level if that's what you wanted to do regardless of how much other stuff they have or haven't done your choice so uh, yeah, I just thought I'd show you that with you. Um, Figma, really, really useful. You can put images on here. Um, you can do all sorts of different things, lay it all out for you. Um, and it's, there's there's so much space, so much space. There's, I mean, I'm not gonna say infinite space, <laughs> but yeah, you can just pan the whole thing out. Um, yeah, no idea if this is going to be useful for any of you. I just thought it's a tool that I like, um, that I do use for various bits. I don't often plan a whole campaign type scenario out like this um, with all the added bits, but I certainly do use it for logic of adventures um, or for flow of information. So I might not have all the locations, but I might have the, the clues that they find that leads to the end thing. Um, I might just do it for quests. I might do it for locations. I'm kind of got a bit of a combination of all of them here. Um, yeah, just thought I would share that with you. It's just another thing that we could use if we wanted to that might help you with your planning or not. Hey, just quick little thing before I go. And um, for those of you who hung around right to the end of the video, check the link in the description. I'm going to put a um, image version of this there for you. If you want to have a little look of it, you can do. See ya.